हेलो एवरीवन आई एम ज्योति का जगन्नाथन फ्रॉम कैच 25 साइंस एकेडमी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अल्काइल हाउ टू नेम एन अल्काइल एंड व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स इन अल्काइल नेमिंग सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट आई नो यू ऑल मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट व्हाट इज एन अल्काइल सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज एन अल्काइल Alkyl is formed by removing of one hydrogen atom from alkene. Alkene is nothing but carbon 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 single bond. Let's understand this with an example. Methane is an alkene and methane has four hydrogens. If we remove one hydrogen it becomes incomplete since there is one incomplete bond it is an alkyl and name of this alkyl is methyl here in methane if we remove this ane and replace it by yl it gives us an alkyl term known as methyl but if we remove two hydrogen atoms from methane it does not forms an alkyl therefore for alkyl only one hydrogen atom has to be removed let's see one more example here if we remove one hydrogen from c3h8 that is from propane we get c3h7 that is propyl here also we replaced a n e that is ane by y y l similarly if we remove one hydrogen atom from c4 h10 that is from butane we will get c4 h9 that is nothing but butyl let me check whether you all understood this or not here is the molecular formula and name of the alkene try to find its alkyl name with the molecular formula if you all want you can use the general formula for alkyl that is cn h2n plus 1 if you all know the answer do comment down i hope you all understood what is an alkyl now we'll learn how to name an alkyl and the steps in alkyl naming If these steps are by heart, then it would be very easy for you all to name any alkyl. So learn these steps carefully. Step one: count total carbons and write alkyl term. Step two: box carbon with incomplete bond and identify the nature of it. Step three: decide the prefix. While naming an alkyl, use these steps. It will become easy for you all to name it. I know you all must be thinking about the nature and the prefix. Don't worry. We'll learn this in detail further. Now, I hope you all understood the steps to name an alkyl. Now, we'll learn how to identify the nature of alkyl and what all prefix can be used in alkyl naming so let's start here in this chain this is the carbon with incomplete bond and it is directly attached to one carbon and indirectly attached to two carbons when the carbon with incomplete bond is directly attached to one carbon then it is known as primary or one degree 
In this chain, the carbon with incomplete bond is directly connected to one and two carbons. Therefore, it is known as secondary or two degree. But for secondary, it should satisfy two conditions. One is two degree. That is, it should be directly attached to two carbons. And the second condition is, it should be in the second position. If only if it satisfies these two conditions, then only it is considered as secondary. If it satisfies only one condition, then it is not secondary. It has to be satisfied these two conditions. Now, in this chain, the carbon with incomplete bond is directly attached to one, two, three. Therefore, it is known as tertiary or three degree. These are the three natures of alkyl. I hope you all understood the nature of alkyl. Now, we'll move to the prefixes. In primary, there are three types of prefixes. There are certain conditions for these prefixes. Let's study these one by one. The condition for the first prefix is it should be in a straight chain. To identify whether it is a straight chain or not, there are two conditions. First condition is it should have two terminals. And the second condition is while counting the straight chain, while counting the carbon chain, we should not take any reverse or U-turn. Only if these two conditions are satisfied, then only it is a straight chain. Don't worry, we'll learn this more clearly using examples. If it is in a straight chain, then the prefix used would be N. For next type of prefix, the condition is it should have one methyl branch on the second last carbon. Methyl branch is nothing but CH3. So, if there is one methyl branch on the second last carbon, the prefix used would be ISO. The condition for the next type of prefix is it should have two methyl branch on the second last carbon. Here, methyl means CH3. If it has two methyl branch on the second last carbon, the prefix used would be neo. For the next type of prefix, the condition is, if the nature is secondary, if the nature is secondary, then the prefix used would be sec. And, if the nature is tertiary or 3 degree, the prefix used would be tot. These are the five prefixes used in alkyl naming. N, iso, neo, sec and tot. Now, with the help of the examples, we'll learn when to use each and every prefix. Let's start here, in this example, we'll give the names using steps. So, what was the first step? The first step was to count total carbons and write the alkyl term. So, let's count the carbons. How many carbons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 carbons. And what is the alkyl term? The alkyl term for four carbons would be butyl. The, what was the second step? The second step was to box the carbon with incomplete bond and identify its nature. Correct. Now, this is the carbon with incomplete bond. Now, how to identify the its nature? 
to identify the nature we have to check that the carbon with incomplete bond is directly attached to how many carbons here the carbon with incomplete bond is connected is directly attached to one carbon so the nature of this would be primary step 3 was decide the prefix since the nature of this is primary there are two possibilities for the prefix one is n second one is iso and the third one is neo now let's check whether it is a straight chain or a branch chain to check whether it is a straight chain there was two conditions first was it should have two terminals let's check this has two terminals or not yes it has two terminals so the first condition is satisfied and the second one is to count the carbon numbers without taking any reverse let's check yes it satisfies the second condition also therefore the it is a straight chain and the prefix used would be n so name of this alkyl is n butyl let's move on to the second example we will solve this using the steps now tell me what was the first step the first step was count total carbons and write its alkyl term how many carbons are there 1 2 3 4 there are four carbons and what would be the alkyl term for it correct the alkyl term for it for this is butyl what was the second step the second step was box the carbon with incomplete bond and identify its nature so to identify the nature what was a trick first we have to box the carbon with incomplete bond and we have to check that we have to check that it is it is directly attached to how many carbons here it is directly attached to one carbons one carbon so the step 3 was decide the prefix since the nature of it is primary there are three possibilities for the prefix one is n other one is iso and the other one is neo now first let's check whether it's a straight chain or not for straight chain it should have two terminals how many terminals are there here correct there are three terminals so it is not a straight chain the second condition also while counting we should not take any reverse let's check it is satisfying or not 1 2 here is a point where you have to decide in which direction you want to go so it is not a straight chain it is a branch chain and we have to check that how many methyl branches there on the second last carbon here only one methyl branch is present on the second last carbon so the prefix used here would be iso so name of this alkyl is isobutyl let's check the third example here step 1 was to count the total carbons how many carbons are there here 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six carbon so we have to write the alkyl term for it what is the alkyl term for six carbon the alkyl term for the six carbon is hexyl the second step was we have to box the carbon with incomplete bond and identify its nature so this is the carbon with incomplete bond so we boxed it now we have to identify its nature you all say what would be its nature correct it is primary why because it is directly attached to one carbon so the nature of it is primary now in primary there are three types of prefix now which type 
is this let's check first we will check whether it is a straight chain or a branch chain uh for for straight chain it should have two terminals but here there are 1 2 3 4 there are four terminals and while counting the carbon we should not take any u turn or reverse here while counting there is a point where we have to decide whether we have to go here here or here so it is a branch chain now we have to check that how many methyl branch it contains here it contains two methyl branch and that two on the second last carbon so it satisfies the condition for neo so the prefix used here will be neo and name of this alkyl would be neo hexyl let's move on to the fourth example here what was the first step the first step was count the total carbon and write its alkyl term now you all say how many carbons are there and what would be the alkyl term correct there are four carbons and the alkyl term used here would be butyl what was the second step the second step is to box the carbon with incomplete bond and identify its nature here this carbon has incomplete bond so we boxed it now we have to identify its nature what would be its nature correct the nature of it is secondary why because it is directly attached to one and two carbon so and one more thing it is in the second position therefore it satisfies us the condition for secondary so it is a the nature of it is secondary the third step was decide the prefix for secondary the prefix used is sec so the name of this alkyl is sec butyl now let's move on to the last example here what was the first step the first step was count the total carbons and write its alkyl term so let's count 1 2 3 4 there are four carbons for four carbons which alkyl term is used yes correct the alkyl term used for four carbons is butyl what was the second step the second step is box the carbon with incomplete bond and identify its nature what is its nature correct the nature of it is tertiary why because it is directly attached to 1 2 3 therefore the nature of it is tertiary so the prefix used would be tert so name of this alkyl is tert butyl now i am going to post one question this is the carbon chain now you all give the name of it using the steps if you all know the answer do comment down that's it for today i hope this video helps you to understand the alkyl and you all enjoyed it thank you